Everyone is just holding their eyes are weird. And we're gonna continue this mission, uh, the standalone mission stuck in the middle. This will be part two. And I'll try to run this for about another hour as well. Because hours seem to be, I can get it, still get it quite a bit done and make it easier to manage and upload. So. Load it up. Now, did I make a save for this? Uh, no, I think I just left it on the autosave. Alright, yes, I did. Let's change that. Standalone mission 6. Stuck in the middle. Yep. Close enough. Part 2. I wasn't really like a sh joke going stuck in the middle with you, like that one song I've heard on the radio a few times. Uh, if anyone knows which song goes something, some, like something, something, I'm stuck in the middle with you, and he repeats it twice, I think. So, uh, please let me know. I'll see if I can find it myself, but. That's all I, that's, I've, I I thought about putting that in the title, like, once. Because I thought it would be hilarious. I can't figure I can't figure it out. So if you know, please let me know. Give it a shot, but I'm gonna leave it there and scan first. Right here. Oh, I don't have enough to make the mining station, so I'll just leave it here then. Uh, actually, let's send this out and personnel carrier, drop it off. Oh, I need to clean up my own base. I still have that wreckage in there. <laughs> um, can I get another? No, I'll just leave it like that then. Oh, that bug happened again. Uh, that's, that's a really annoying bug. Maybe I can find a forum. I'll ask about it. I'm sure leave that constructor in there. I don't wanna. Alright, so I have an air transport coming up, and what I want to do with it is use that to whisk a constructor around, or even the bulldozers, so I can get raw material. I'm only running at four right now because I'm producing like constructors and stuff like that. I might not need another constructor after this. I should be able to start going for the goal. But I do have my first shipyard. Oh, okay, I have two shipyard. One shipyard online. I'll have this one online too. I'm gonna build a corvette just to make sure they don't have submarines coming for me. And then build submarines myself to surround their water. So even if they have ground attack planes, I'll have just enough to, you know, keep them at bay. And they'll be forced to use anything like uh, ground attack planes or anything like that to. Uh, they'll have to stay at their base. So I'll have. I won't have to worry about them charging at me. Let's see if we can steal a surveyor, though. I think they're still out here trying to search for my... ...mines, because I know... ...enemy fighter is here. Still five range. That was a scout that got destroyed. Engineer, where? I'm pressing F1. Where did? Where is it? <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me check the messages. Sixty-one nineteen. So right next to that habitat. All right, 
I disabled it. So that just stops the construction, which, depending on how many turns they have banked, can be a really nice thing to do. I'm gonna steal that surveyor. Is there anything out here, actually? Uh, I'll just have it sweep my minefield. Just to see if I have any, like, raw material out here that I can use. So I've got an extra surveyor. Woo. So even stealing small, doing small things with an infiltrator first, at isolated, like, at isolated units or structures, makes it easier to maintain stealth, and also level them up so they can s disable and steal more valuable targets. So don't be, or don't be, don't you know, don't feel like small things aren't doing anything, because sometimes they can. Kind of like that one tip, or even like a small upgrade can provide a, a remarkable edge. So I'm going to... Do I have the cost? Okay, I do have 10% cost reduction. So let's get that mine station back online, because I do need that raw material. Alright. I might need a mine layer, actually, just to clear out some stuff here. Alright, fight her down. Let's get a Corvette. Anti-aircraft gun is here. I'm gonna make a connector right here. Is there anything on this island? No. Alright, so that's the southmost island. I feel like I said that wrong. Is it supposed to be, is it southern? Southern? Does it really matter too much? I don't know. English language is kind of... You pronounce it whatever, however you feel like and no one really cares. <laughs> it's fine now. Okay, there's the other surveyor. I do want to try to steal that one too. None of those mining stations are on. Is there even anything over there? That's honestly worth it. Or do they just build mining stations and not actually? Disable first. You always want to go with that. Okay, they do have shipyard opera, shipyard operational. That is not good. that to happen. Deposit in the supply truck and keep cleaning up the mess. Yeah, that's where I'm that's that's where I'm gonna get a lot of my supplies at this point, it's just the trucks, which is fine. I mean disabled engineer. I'm just gonna wreak small havoc here. And start getting connectors. So I don't know if they have submarines already. And that is a concern I do have. 10 cost. 10, uh, sorry. 10 turns until he had 20% off, off cost. And there will be more noticeable um, differences. So that is the plan. Alright, nothing on the island south of my base, so I could send a surveyor down there to explore. And to potentially, even if it's just, um, to, like, just anti-aircraft there, that can still cut off a huge, uh, point for there. Alright, so they have a grand attack point out. Unable to capture enemy unit, that's fine. Still disabled. Alright, 
Alright, so they have a ground attack point, so I gotta move this back. Let's move the surveyor actually just way down there. Let's get mobile anti-aircraft up. Oh, actually, hold on, where's the fighter? Let's get something that's more immediate. I have two at the moment. Alright, that fighter will die in one shot. That ground attack point is going to need two. Or one if I can get it high enough. I won't be able to get it high enough, but it will be able to cripple it severely. So let's actually get that. Let's get some hits just to be safe. Done. Actually, let's get the air transport and whisk that surveyor over. I know that sounds weird, but I'm going to do that. Ooh. Nope, bring the fighter back out. I still didn't cost too much. Move the tank back. Yeah, after that, we get those mobile anti aircraft to act as more AA defense because they seem to be mostly sending aircraft at me now. Like, that's their big. I guess you could say, uh. maneuver. I see more of what they whoa. Alright, so they do have their own. They have a sea transport. This is not something I wanna see. Because they are going to definitely use it to attempt to uh Oh, don't go in there. Ah crap. I misclicked I guess and I went to have it skirt right around, but it stopped right in the middle of detecting something. That's kind of one of the disadvantages to halt movement when enemy is detected, because it will kind of get your unit killed. It's a good safety measure, but, you know, stuff like that happens, and then you kind of don't like the safety measure as much. But I'm going to build assault guns, because they're the most upgraded thing I have. And let's get this upgraded too, actually. Alright, Bubble we'll Anti-Aircraft has some upgrades. Uh, there's a ground attack plane, found it. Alright, so let's shoot it down with you. Reload. And steal. Apparently I can't capture that, it's very difficult. Oh yeah, I do have an AA gun up here already. Um, okay, that's got seven range. I've only got six. So we've got tanks coming, but I do want to keep an eye out for, um, that sea transport, because I don't want something like that to show up.
take out the surveyor before it finds me, and then send this up. I don't think I can go down there because it's going to be too close. I'll clean up my base now. <clears throat> oh, I do need an engineer over here. Alright, so I'll just drop you in there then. Over here. Delete engineers back. Let's get some more of those. Do need another AWAC, but that's I want to save most of my movement over there if I can be careful, because I don't want to risk it. So I'm just going to send infiltrators just up and down. Effectively, if I can see their whole base, or stop like all their land units from coming to me before they even... Alright, good. All right, I can connect that up in just a few turns, and then I'll send it to connect the mining station I have up there. Then I'll leave an engineer over here to effectively do cleanup. Not cleanup, I mean just finish connecting everything. Let's do 36. Alright, six turns. I'll wait for that uh, then. And I'll put that there, because the anti-aircraft can't cover that, so... Because it looks like they are attempting to mount an offensive. I'm going to try to disrupt their construction as much as I can. Oop, I'm not building anything there. <laughs> oh, okay, so they either bumped into him, even, even though he had two movement left, or... Um, I think it was he couldn't move out of the way, and then... Um, I'm assuming they might have infantry, actually. Gonna need to send another infiltrator to find out if that's true, which is kind of ironic, but. Mining stations available. I'm thinking of another air units plant, because that's mostly the best way I'm able to get around. So I'm gonna uh, try to go for like a control the skies type situation. Where I do just that. And connect these ecospheres. Okay, that's definitely going to be an important thing to do. Because, well, that's how I won the game. <laughs> okay, I need to hit. I need to hit 50 wins. I think that's a typo meant to say 50 points so um you guys will be seeing probably like part 60 of this mission because i have to do 50 ones <laughs> but once you did it but you figured if that was yeah all right
Yeah, sometimes it is kind of funny to see those types of typos. It, it's kind of funny to see him do that. But Blue's got a force up here. They got tanks with some extra hits. And that's really about it. I don't see any ranged units that, you know... Yeah, they're called Ayer's Hand, not... Ayer's Fist or something. I don't know. Couldn't think of anything good on that one. <laughs> Alright, so... Their bases don't look that armored. To be honest, if I had a few good missile crawlers... And then got some mobile anti-aircraft, like... Pre in position with the assault guns. I could hit these. I mean, I even could use the missile cruiser, but I want to make sure I have naval supremacy first. And I think it'd be easier to get naval supremacy if I had air supremacy. I know that sounds a little weird, but. That's what I'm going with. So I figured an easier way to make sure I can defend myself is to pressure them enough to where they can't afford to go after me. Why is there just an AWAC right there? That's, oh, I need, I need to probably need an AA turret closer here too. So I can see inside Blue's base really clearly. Um, let's actually put it in here because I'll connect that in a second anyway. I'm sending more of my infiltrators up toward Blue just to make sure I can disable their missile units before they get to me. Otherwise, I'll send the rest to green. Alright, so submarines available. I'm going to start sending it over here. I don't really want to put too much gold into upgrading them or consider upgrading them right now. Just to so I can focus on more defensive works. The submarines are mostly just air dis disruption. So I don't need to put too much into them. Alright, so I can get fighters upgraded again. Let's do that. Because if I get them to 22, I can destroy their ground attack points in a single hit. Which is definitely going to be a upgrade I want to go for here. And make sure they don't get any wax. Always an important thing to do. I might need to upgrade scanners too. Just get extra range on them. Alright, I can start firing on their base. Oh yeah. Alright. Let's do that. Actually, let's send the fighter over here. And use that as like a stopping... I want to say stopping block. Does that make sense? Oop, nope. There we go. But I need another power station now. I wonder if they'll start making ecospheres once they have their situation secured enough. Because Blue is definitely sending a force. But it's not going to be a force of, like, rocket launchers. Which is, which just seems so weird. Oh, that's all the action. Oh, that happened. That was the action. Disable the radar for the turn, even though they've probably got more than one radar. Um, fighters available. AWAC is going to be next. Store the fighter. Assault gun should be done soon, which is good. So I'm going to send 
you over here. So I need another habitat and I need another power station. Just as a recap. And that should be enough to start doing it. But I have three turns, so I'm going to hold off. So I can live on that, then. Should try to definitely think about capturing Musashi tanks, because that'd be a great front line. And I don't have surveyors coming toward my minefield, so if they try getting close on this side, I can still hit them. Disable the scanner for three turns. Disable the engineer. Mm, engineer's available. Oh, I do have a mining station back here. Excellent. And get that connected finally. And get engineers, I guess, to build more turrets. We'll have the transport pick them up. Tra engineer up and go back there and set up more turrets. Alright, so at this rate, I have two going, which means I should be done turn 61 now. I want to say turn 80 something, 70, 80 something maybe, yeah no, I think late 70s for the turns. So if this is like just over an hour, I guess, enough to count, then I can have it do that instead. Alright, assault gun got damaged, so let's send it back. I realize I don't have a repair um, unit, so... Yeah, my bad. <laughs> but I can build a mining station up here. So I am going to do that. online but I turned the research center off which is okay I don't need that immediately so I'm going to leave it like that and keep going forward enemy fighter Yeah, he isn't adapting too well. I mean, they put some stuff into their tanks, but I expected more of a... You know, their fighters have more range, so my fighters should have equal range. You know. That type stuff. Alright, I'm gonna go for it. Alright, yes. <laughs> oh, so they do what I like doing sometimes. Just get a radar or two to scan for your defenses and just get like a bunch of missile launchers and AA guns for the most part and then sneak in the occasional artillery or gun turret. Oh yeah. That's going to require some missile crawlers. I can disable the power station. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that's great. I think I just powered off 
I want to say it powered off a lot because they have three still going. But it's powering something over on the east side or this or north, northeast, east side of the base. Because that's not. That's not operate. Not choosing to operate that, which is great in my opinion. All right, let's. I'm gonna build another uh, storage unit. Just so I can store a little bit better here. One turn for the cost reduction. Submarines available. So if there's already an engineer here, I'll put one over here. Alright, so three ecospheres right now. I think I'll just need 13 turns. So turn 76 would be done. And they're not making... Oh. Yeah, they destroyed the one I stole. Which was fine. Let me know what was going on. It's able to tank right there, which actually does block off any units from coming from that direction. Or just not this, just uh, this little spot, so it's like a little chokehold that they imposed on themselves. Well, I imposed on them, but you get the idea. Oh yeah, so I can, because this one is in the water, somebody can start firing on it. has been completed. Infiltrator is available. I'm going to send the infiltrators up here because they have more stuff up this way. It only seems, you know, fair. Should be able to have 40. Yep. So you so building so vehicle plant air units plant is cheaper. A lot of it's cheaper. Five turns for a power station at 40, which is going to be good. I'm actually going to put some into this engineer, even though it will build a mining station here. I do want to just connect it through an extra way, also because putting mining station right here to begin with, so it'll be out of the way. So they're trying to move in with that force. Well, I just stole a tank right here, so that'll do some damage. <laughs> that'll work, actually. I don't mind that. Two turns, seven turns. Storage unit, let's just build a gun turret. That'll short stop. Whatever they're planning, I guess. Wanna see if anything is up there. Let's just go back here. Alright. 
actually what is I'm going to upgrade submarine so let's get speed scan and some attack yeah something like that Oh, I need workers. Okay. That makes sense. Actually, I'm just gonna put submarines on repeat. And I need power to upgrade that, which is fine. So looks like they are moving stuff around. <laughs> Alright, there's a free engineer kill. And I guess I'll throw in another tip about, uh, I guess just a general tip. Be careful about putting units on the coastline at around a time you would expect someone to be deploying submarines. Especially on water heavy maps. What I like doing is if, like if you're gonna say a Crimson Path, you find Crimson Path, expect them to have a shipyard just almost but before probably you will which means you might need to prioritize one yourself if you want to have any chance of naval supremacy or even just to protect your own coastline because that is something you're going to need to be doing ah crap I lost one um, looks like they have a lot of mobile anti-air so they are catching on they aren't upgrading them, so maybe not. <laughs> um, we've got more engineers coming out. Let's get a repair unit and a mine layer so I can upgrade some mines and just pick them up and move them out a little bit. Not too much, but uh, enough. So I'm actually going to get this constructor to build the habitat first and then get the fuel station because I don't really need the fuel that much right now. The raw material is okay so it looks like they're trying to send engineers somewhere by free kill I meant I guess I'll wait <laughs> okay they are coming at me with anti-air alright so there's nothing on that northwest island so I don't think there's anything on the islands which gives me an idea for engineers so there take that submarine and take down those connectors that'll shut that off and it'll let me know if they have any planes Oop, nope, I didn't mean to click there. I feel like it's just pre when I play this game, it's just preemptively have my finger on the shift key whenever I'm moving. Just in case. Scouts are I think scouts are technically the easiest unit in the game to steal if I'm not mistaken. There we go, power station disabled. That is shutting off a lot. So a good tip is if your if your if your infiltrator has a definitely a pretty high chance of uh, disrupting something important in their base, try disrupting a power station. Because if you like, if I've mentioned in my custom game video, where sometimes I'll have two power generators, and then you know mostly power stations everywhere, taking out a power station could take out multiple factories. And usually, in some cases, you aren't building too many power generators due to the cost and you know cost efficiency and you know how much power per. You know, stuff like that. Alright, let's take out that sea transport. I'm going to put the submarine right there in case it tries fleeing north. Alright, so I do have this connected now. Let's get an anti-aircraft gun over here. I 
just gonna put one right here too. Bulldozer can come over here and collect some of this. Ooh, yep, okay, there is stuff here. So I could send a constructor down here, get a power generator, you know, start doing work, I guess. Alright, let's get some more into this engineer, because I want to rush an artillery gun. And just like that, I've disabled their scan and their aggressive units, so now I can use my fighters. Yeah, cause none of their mobile anti aircraft can hold still. Or not hold still, they moved them all, so they can't fire, and they only have one shot, and some of you will definitely remember this lesson from the Planes in Hell video. Planes in Hell, from Hell, sorry that if you want to use escort to mobile anti aircraft you're going to need a good decent number of them to counter how many your enemy has and you can't move all of them at once so you know keep out keep an eye out for that kind of stuff you don't want to Oh, I could even disable this, too. All I have to do is shoot the connector. But I'm going to hold off and shoot it all in one turn. Just to be safe. I'm just going to keep disabling the power station. It does the most damage. I, sh I shot off so many factors. Alright, 28 more points to go. I might actually build another one to speed it up. Yeah, I'll start building more just to see how fast I can get it. I might be able to get one before it's meaningful. Alright. I could actually hide and I'll kill it. Alright. Okay, so see how this one, you know, this rookie, half chance, I don't want to risk it. But up here, this one's, you know, enough of a crack so where he can do it without, you know, any trouble. So, start small with infiltrators. Make sure you pick your targets and all that jazz. Assault gun is available. I think I just made a lot of assault guns just as, um... Alright, so power station. I'll finish that thought in just a sec. Um... Alright. Start that up. I still need workers. Um, I can start that up. Alright. Yeah, that'll actually work. Still making 16 a turn, which for right now in this scenario is... adequate. Well, I wasn't able to capture it, but that's okay. I do have assault guns, you know, ready to go here. Looks like they have a severe over there, too. Alright. Blue is... Well, I'm gonna destroy his tank. That tank should have run away. My tanks have slightly extra attack, which is interesting. There we 
we go. Keep disabling that. And yeah, I could probably go get a little more aggressive here. What? I can target it, but it shoots the ground. That must be that one bug that was mentioned in the uh, God.com guide they released. Well, not that one specifically. It was one that was more involved with uh, planes. But all right, so there's that. Twenty-two points remaining for the mission to be complete. Alright, so it seems in this mission, once kind of like kind of Planes of Hell operated, and a little bit of, I guess, I want to say, I could, I could say some of the scenarios I've gone through early on so far, is once their initial assault happens, and you take care of it and everything, it kind of tends to waver a bit. So it goes from, you know, they have a serious advantage over you, to you repel one assault, and suddenly you have one over them. Alright, stole another scanner. Could always use that. <laughs> and unit disabled. Let's keep disabling the power station. Getting closer, the bar's filling up. So I've got a much better chance now to do it. Let's see what else is here other than that. Ooh. Four water platforms. Looks like they definitely are trying to get a mining station out here, because usually you do that when you want to build a factory. Uh, okay. Nineteen remaining. Oh no, they destroyed one of my assault guns. Looks like they have more missile supremacy here, I guess. So I'll pull back. Um, let's get the radar online right here. I know I have a scanner, but I want something more, I guess, better range. I have a missile crawler, but I gotta just say, what well, that mining station's going down. Oh, well, I failed to disable it, which sucks. Because I couldn't ride that train forever. <laughs> Alright, good, I got out of the reach. Let's add that to the list. Looks like they never got enough to really rule the waters. I've got another fighter, so... That'll be enough to... So I guess if I have any... Other, some more tips that I'll probably I'll put in the description, where I notice I seem to write, like, mini-essays <laughs> on what you can do. Now that I've looked back at my tips and stuff I've mentioned in there, and like Fast and Furious and all those missions, I guess a new one is infiltrators. It could be used to disrupt your enemies. 
units from getting to you. Uh, make sure you have fighters that are upgraded decently. Have a couple kind of attack planes lying around. Stuff like that. Uh, don't worry about going on the attack. It's kind of one of those ones where you uh, scenarios where you can wait it out once you've dealt with enough. But I know in some missions I joke how the infiltrators, like the wall and uh, I think it was planes from hell if I'm not mistaken, where the infiltrators didn't feel like that they used, they did that much. But in this one they definitely can be used to great effect. Alright, so I powered one ecosphere on. So 3, 12, 15 would be 5 turns. So I can do this in. F so I did shave a turn off. So I will be. D I'm pretty sure I've done this mission in the hour. Might be less than an hour. Which is good. Two parts are usually a good way to separate if I can. But I notice my voice is popping. <laughs> and I'm using a headset mic. So I guess if I have the money, I'll get one of those, like try to get like a better mic with a pop filter so you don't hear like that random like poof noise sometimes it's not too bad with my mic I'm doing a pretty good job of it but um I've seen a video or two where you hear them speaking and it's like pop 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 like they're setting off firecrackers <laughs> Let's disable that. Alright, good. Let's get safe. So, three turns remaining for those of you watching or listening. And I guess I'll make a note of this too. I did mention in the description of the last video that I'll up real, I'm up re uploading part one to get rid of some of that static and uh, reorient the video so it's more centered. And then, I've archived the comments, so if any of you have replied on that one, I'll just uh, paste it in the description. Or not the description, but the comments. When I upload it, I'll put it as a comment. So that way, um, if you said anything there, I'll keep it over. So I'll do that for any video I need to re-upload. Provided there's not like, you know, 400 comments on it, because then, you know, going through all that would be a lot. I probably would still do it if that was the case. Because I, I have it uh, copied in a Word document right now. Or, sorry, not a Word document, a LibreOffice document. So that way, um. Uh, it's still there. And if I am down the view or something like that, it's not the end of the world. Oh, I guess I'll mention that to anybody if you do. I guess want your analytic tracked again or something, then you know, re-see it for like five minutes. I don't know how the view counter works. Like exactly, like if you just like click on the video, does that count as a view and not watch anything? Because I, I think it does, and then uh, it factors in audience retention and stuff like that. And that's audience retention is definitely something I'm trying to work on with, you know, videos this long. It's not always easy. But at this point I'm kinda just hitting the end turn button because I'm gonna win. Blue tried sending in an assault, but Nope, oh, looks like they got fighters up there. They aren't doing it with anything decent. Like, the one aircraft was a decent idea to have enough of them. But they didn't, um, bring any, uh, 
like any of their unique units, not unique units, um, upgraded units. You know, like the rocket launcher and the missile crawler, which you know was a problem at the beginning of the mission. Because if they had fighters with that, then that'd be a good, you know, have the fighters cover the ground units with the upgraded range if, you know, stuff like that. I wonder if the AI could do something different. Like, if I were to just replay this mission, and the AI were to do, like, choose different upgrades, I might do that for a later video, or just as, like, a non-recorded type situation. But I have one at this point. It hasn't gone above 50. 53. Okay, so Blue actually built an ecosphere. At turn... 76, maybe? So turn 77. Destroy Maywak. So you could beat this mission probably in a couple hours. For those of you watching. It's just you gotta get past the initial force and a couple other things. And I think they mostly will send, they'll send some ground units. But I guess in this, I didn't see them push a navy at all. They had a navy. Or they had a shipyard, but they never used it to, to an effect that would have been noticeable to me. But, um, there you go, there's that mission completed. So I guess I can close from some finding, uh, final thoughts. Um, so stuck in the middle, you have the force on the top and the bottom you have to deal with. Um, that is, it's definitely the first part of the mission. It is definitely the hardest. But to, you, but to make sure you have assault guns and your tanks to, you know, act as, you know, beam, have meat shields keep the Visashi tanks at bay, and then, you know, have, a uh, get a ground attack plane to deal with blues, rocket launchers, and missile crawlers, and then make sure you have your own fighters to counter their fighters and protect yourself. And then from there, you want to get, like, occasional gun turrets around your base, usually mostly anti-air, and then you can use infiltrators. Preferably have two training halls to disrupt their units on the ground and then maybe have your surviving force with assault guns to cover it. So that with other tips I'll post in the description for part two. But otherwise, if you guys have any feedback, please let me know through the comments or through the messages. Um could be about anything really. Uh I'll look up that song later, actually, now that I remembered. But, um, <laughs> otherwise, this is Penhold and her eye is a weird, and I will see you guys for Golden Opportunity.